Hi Bound fans! And welcome to this week's edition of Bound Fan TV with On The March videos. And we hope you've had a fantastic Easter. I got there first. You did too. You did. We had a busy, busy time. Uh, Saturday night we've seen ourselves in uh, Doak for Billy Clare Memorial Indoor. But on Monday morning we up bright and early and down to Enniskillen for The Apprentice Boys. Yeah, Enniskillen hosted The Apprentice Boys. Uh, their annual parade on Easter Monday. The last time we were there was around 10, 12 years ago and it was bitterly cold then. This time we had a few threatening showers but on the whole it was a, it was a great day. It was. Brilliant crowds around the town. So it was and a brilliant parade. Yeah, so good, really good selection. Although they're all flu bands except for one, mm -hmm. uh, but really, really good uh, turnout of bands. And it's that one band that we're going to start with. And that is Ban the Mallard Accordion. Easter Monday started off at the Orange Hall in Enniskillen where Enniskillen Fusiliers led a wreath in remembrance of those who have lost their lives. Mm -hmm. well, a couple of clips coming up of Enniskillen Fusiliers but also a band and I think it's the first time on Band Fan TV so it's Florence Cart Old Gate. <laughs>
Our Easter Tuesday this year was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Belfast County didn't have a parade this Easter and have postponed it until later in the year. But we went to Ballymoney where Drummer Higgles Junior LOL number 99 celebrated their 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. The kids were out in full force and it was fantastic to see so many. They were so smart and they were joined by other uh, juvenile lodges and one from Carrick Fergus as well. Mm -hmm. Travelled up for the day. Yep, good crowd again in Ballamoney. Uh, the streets were very, very well attended. Ballamoney parades are always well yep. attended. Mm -hmm. And uh, a good, good crowd on parade. About six bands in the parade and all the videos you will get up on our YouTube within the next day or two, which we're only home. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we've got two clips coming up and it's Drama Hegel's Young Defenders who led the parade. And a clip of Crown Defenders from Clock Mills, and I can't get used to their new uniform, it just hasn't settled with me yet. But uh, a wee clip of Crown Defenders. <laughs>
So as we say, on Saturday evening, we found ourselves uh, out of Doak at McConnell's Bar, and that was Billy Clare Memorial, and they had a fundraiser and an indoor. They had eight bands attending, and that included themselves, that made nine. And uh, it was really well attended. It was. And some great bands on show. So we've made Billy Clare Memorial our profile band of the week, and uh, we have a wee clip of Billy Clare Memorial coming up in a minute or two. So... Uh, the band name is Billy Clare Memorial. What type of band are they? They are Blood and Thunder, although they have a wee... There's parts that are coming into it. There was one of the tunes they played on Saturday night, and there was a few parts in that in it. And they would say that their drum style is a wee bit more regimented. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, formed in 1922. Have they ever changed their name? No, they were only formed last <laughs> year, 9 -9. And if, you, if you're an avid band fan TV... Uh, viewer, you will remember that at the beginning of last year we went um, to an indoor that they were doing when they had just formed up right. and we did have a chat with Andy Carmichael who was the founder of the band. Yeah, so what about instruments? Well, they're traditionally flutes and they have been so grateful for various bands out there who have given them over old flutes, old drums and have really, really helped them out and it's fantastic to see how the band community come together mm -hmm. to help these new bands get that wee bit of start that they need okay then where does the band practice so the band have had a few different places that they've been practicing but for those who really want to join and are interested in that the sort of style of band they are they practice in a mcconnell's bar which is out in doke they practice on a sunday their times do vary between one and three three and five so do get in touch with their facebook page have a chat with one of the members if you want to know exactly what time practice is on that week is the band recruiting? Well, I've just said, yes, the band is <laughs> recruiting and they are so, so keen. doesn't matter whether you are experienced fluter or drummer. Uh, they will take you experienced or a learner. They do have um, the ability to teach anyone and um, they really have came on. I was so, so impressed by them. Mm -hmm. I thought they had come on leaps and bounds. Uh, over certainly since I suppose the last 12th was one of the times that I had sort of really seen them yep they played about 10 maybe 11 tunes on uh, Saturday night and they sounded so well they really did they really did so what has the band got in store for the next year to come well obviously they're, they're going to concentrate on building up their repertoire um, concentrating on their on new members and getting those people into the band they're also looking forward not only to the 12th here at home, but also going to Scotland uh, for the 12th. And they want to host their first parade. Mm -hmm. So if you're a band out there and you would be keen to join them uh, on their parade, do please get in touch with the band's uh, Facebook page. And um, I'm sure there'll be more details coming out in the future about it. Yep. So say it's been a fantastic weekend, uh, really really busy and we've still a lot of videos to upload on that. But uh, we want to spe say a special thank you to just everybody that came up and spoke to us. And uh, I couldn't tell you how many people I shook hands with or had a hug with and spoke to you over the last few days. It's absolutely fantastic and it just gives you such a reassurance that you know there's so many like-minded people out there. Please forgive us. You know us, but we don't know you. But it is so, so nice. Um, and we have to say a special hello to Jonah. It was lovely to be able yes. to meet you in person. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again when we're back on the march very, very soon. Yep. So hopefully we have a first ever parade coming up next Friday. All being well, we'll try to get the coke. Uh, for uh, we pray it on Friday night, and then on Saturday we're heading down to Portadown. There is an accordion band festival on, and about ten bands playing at that. There, I would highly recommend that, and you will get that all on uh, Facebook at the um, Ulster Accordion Bands page, and then uh, Saturday night is Larn. So we're heading to Constable Anderson. Another busy weekend. Yep. <laughs> wouldn't be like it <laughs> but please if you haven't already do subscribe to our Facebook uh, or also our YouTube channel give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell for when we have more of our fantastic marching bands their videos uploaded and until we see you when we are back on the march again bye don't forget to follow us <laughs> follow them it's bye bye from me I'm me